Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with the VV Omi update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Oh god, my back hurts. Everyone say, where's Dashi? Uh, Dashi is currently in New York, protecting the house, as always. So, uh, we have a little bit to go over here. Uh, we'll start off with the Omi. Omi is down about 0.3% on the day to 000 6975. Everyone comment nice down below for the 69. We were actually quite a bit lower this morning. A couple times we were at 000 range, 673, 674, all that. Uh, we were able to get it up a little bit just because there were some buy orders. Um, I had to go and uh, kind of tell people like, hey, if this is your first time buying Omi, here's what to expect, especially if you're in America. And if you don't want to use a VPN to MEXC, MEXC is the most recent exchange that we have that Americans technically aren't allowed to use, but they are, uh, they can if you use a VPN. Not really supposed to do that. It goes against the terms of service. If you can, great. Um, people buy it and they move it off all the time. Danny the Bull is someone that says he does that all the time. Um, but for anyone that does not want to do that, here is the blueprint for buying. If you have a Coinbase, all you have to do is take that uh, Ethereum you have on Coinbase, send it to Coinbase Wallet. If you already have a Coinbase Wallet, you could just buy the Ethereum on there. And all you have to do is you have to swap your Ethereum for Ecomi. There's a little button that says swap over there. You have the Ethereum, you swap it for Ecomi. You can't just type in Omi, it has to be Ecomi. But you literally have to spend about $2,500 at a time. That's the rate at which I could buy this morning. And sometimes it won't even let you swap that much. The reason I decided to make this post because there was a guy named Michael Alamillo. He goes on Facebook and says, bruh, how are y'all buying large amounts of Omi? And, you know, he tried to purchase not a crazy amount, 28000 And if he would have done that, he would have lost $6,000. He would have only gotten twenty two thousand dollars worth of omi the uh network fee and the coinbase fee would have been fairly negligible at about 260 dollars maybe about less than one percent but he would have pumped the price 20 percent with that and that goes in line with what i was telling my friend this morning i was shooting her a text she's like hey how are you buying omi and i just said you know from this coinbase wallet but at the time i was texting her i couldn't even buy two thousand dollars worth without pumping the price six percent and that's a really small amount to be able to pump the price 6%. I would have gotten 1861 out of that, minus another $50 for the Coinbase fee and the network fees, etc. cetera. Um, but eventually I was able to buy a couple, uh, uh, about $6,000 worth, give or take, just with all that stuff. So outside of that, uh, I was able to go and buy, like I said, that amount of Omi. I did get a little bit more flow just because that was down to like $1.20 today. And then I also decided to go and get, if I could, if I can bring it up, uh, a little bit more of bumper as well, just because when uh, we were on, what were we on? Around the Ecomiverse on Monday, Jordan Reese asked us, what is your favorite coins outside of Omi? Uh, Dr. Stuff said Entangle, NGL, so I got about $1,000 worth of that. I, of course, said Definity because I love them. And even though I love bumper as well, when Crypto Rain says his favorite outside of Ecomi is bumper, I just had to get a little bit more today. And again, just keeping things open, when I go do and get a little bit more money towards the end of the month, I will be getting a little bit more Ducat just to dollar cost average. Again, most of the Ducat I bought, it was at like a seven, $7.5 million market cap. Uh, and now it's about a, a 2.5 million. So I'm just gonna dollar cost average a little bit on that. I'm not gonna go crazy and do like another five figures or anything. It'll be the, in the small, uh, I don't know, maybe like $1,000, give or take. Again, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, moving on here. Kind of flat for certain things. Bitcoin only up a half a percent. Ethereum down only a half a percent. BNB is up about 4.5 percent. Uh, Solana is down almost 3 percent. XRP down over 1 percent. Dogecoin up 4.4 percent. So it's really hit or miss. Uh, Toncoin, even though that has kicked Cardano out of the top uh, 10 percent and is down or the top 10 on the crypto charts and is down a half a percent, it's still up 33 percent on the week. Cardano down another 4 percent on the day. So that's widened it to actually. 2.8 billion uh, difference between Toncoin and Cardano. So we'll see, and Cardano has a crazy community. So we'll see if they can get back in the top 10 soon. We do have a bunch of other crypto news as well before we get to the VV stuff. We have Hong Kong subsidiaries of Chinese asset managers apply for spot Bitcoin ETFs. Crypto exchange monthly spot volume doubled in March, reaching 2.5 trillion for the first time since 2021. The spot beat, uh, Bitcoin spot ETF saw 18.3 million net outflows, less than Monday's 224 
0.8 net outflows. Hong Kong is set to approve its first spot coin Bitcoin ETF uh, in April. So that is this month in the next couple of weeks. Spot Bitcoin ETF cumulative trading volume crosses the 200 billion. Uh, former FTX exec Ryan Salesman sentence, uh, sentencing set for May 28th. Bitcoin miner manufacturer Ardeen raises 80 million in Series B ahead of the halving. Got an email uh, yesterday saying Disney Pixar Cars Volume 1 digital pins are speeding into early access. This is your chance to prove your fandom and participate in the newest open edition release early access. Click the link, blah, 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 blah. Um, Pinnacle is, sounds like that they're trying. Uh, I think Yo Steph had posted over on her X account that she was bringing her physical pins to Disney, just hoping to do some trade. So the physical pins for Disney is actually really big. It's just the digital stuff that I haven't really seen too many people talk about yet, even after this email, uh, which is supposed to go, the release is happening and will only last until April 30th at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, I, I just don't see that really doing that well, just because I haven't seen a ton of people go and talk about it yet. So I had somebody yesterday say like, hey, won't the fifth drop of the Wolverine, because Wolverine, that drop that we're getting on Sunday, is going to be one of five. Like they're, they're going to drop four other Wolverines on top of that. And I said, won't it be a first edition and not a first appearance? So be advised, first editions are like art, maybe like a car or, or like a poster. That's what a first edition would be like. First appearance is saved for the giant digital collectibles. But just because you have, like let's say there's five different Hulks that we have on here, right? But only three of them are over and uh, their first appearances. Well, Chavez, how do you have, they're all Hulks, right? How are they first appearances? Well, one is a Bruce Banner, one is a Robert Bruce Banner, and the other one isn't even a Banner at all. He's not even in the family. So the Maestro is the Robert Bruce Banner, and the Red Hulk is Thunderbolt Ross, actually. Uh, for Captain America 4, he's actually supposed to be like president at some point in that, or he's going to be president. Marvel's really getting into a lot of politics. In Daredevil Born Again, they're doing the Mayor Kingpin storyline. Anyway, I'm going to get too, too far sidetracked for that. But it's just because they're different people, and that's why those Hulks are different first appearances. Even though they're technically Hulks, they are different people, whereas the other Hulks that we get are just the same Bruce Banner, just in different forms. So for Wolverine, like I said, we can get different Wolverines from different timelines. Like the old man Logan won't be a different Wolverine. He'll be the same Wolverine, just like 70 or 100 years older than what we, pre than what we know him as. Um, you could even get like the, the Jimmy Howlett, Jimmy Rowlett, I forget his last name, just when he was a kid, maybe not specifically Wolverine, because you, you have a Hawkeye first appearance and you have a Ronin first appearance. They, they are the same person. They are both Clint Barton. They are the same person. But for whatever reason, Marvel and Vivi decided to say that they're both first appearances, despite them being the, actually the same person. Um, so maybe a James Rowlett, you know, originally maybe where he has the bone claws before he becomes like Wolverine, Wolverine. Um, maybe that could be first appearance as well. I feel like Vivi and Marvel kind of play fast and loose with that first appearance and what is and what isn't. So just comment down below with what your favorite thoughts are. Also, speaking of Wolverine, we will get another trailer for Deadpool 3 really quickly. And I just want y'all to just want y'all to know in one of the where he's going to be at, where after Wolverine, Deadpool and everyone just gets pruned. You do see that Thanos copter right there and that you can still get that over in the store. But that's something that we saw in Loki season two. We'll be able to see stuff like that again in the future. And in that first Deadpool trailer, you actually are able to see Secret Wars number five. You see the Secret Wars over there. You see it with the Doctor Doom on there. We should be getting Doctor Doom um, in the Fantastic Four movie whenever that comes out. Comment down below if you know what date. In other collectibles news, we have a Kobe Bryant photo-matched game-worn jersey from the game one of the 2009 NBA Finals. It's currently at $1.7 million. There are a couple of days left on this auction. It will likely finish with a $2 million plus uh, bid on that, which is absolutely bananas. I mean, it's not like you can make more worn Kobe Bryant jerseys like that. That, um, that time has passed. Everyone comment F down below to pay respects to Kobe. Other fun things that people are collecting, we have Low Mint Mick, which has reached a thousand, I repeat, he has reached 1,000 Stormtrooper collectibles. Figure those are $20, that is $20,000 just in Stormtroopers, absolutely bananas. Uh, and other, uh, other special mints are selling as well. Like we have the number 1984 uh, Spider-Man Venom symbiote uh, version, which is 
actually been sold for $2,400. If the current floor is about $65, give or take, so close to $69, that's about a 36x over the original floor, which is absolutely bananas. So you have, we sold, uh, shout out to Vincent Zerzolo and Vivi for selling out the Addiction comic number two today. 5,000 editions means about 47.13. That says about $32,000, almost $33,000, give or take, uh, just on the primary sales alone, not including secondary. Some people were selling it as low as under $5 for the rare. That is two points, MCP points every day. People have no issue paying five or $6 for that. And, um, okay, I, and I hear this a lot, Chavez, how is it good for Omi when VV makes money, but it doesn't go into the token? Be advised, it does go into the token, and the next 12 months are going to be key the, the takeaway from here is that the more revenue that VV gets, the more that they have for licensors, the more that they have to pay people so that they can grow and actually afford top tier level people. Um, they don't have to go and just say, oh, you can work with Disney and Marvel, et cetera, your childhood nostalgia. They can actually afford to pay the higher premiums that you would need for, for, higher, for higher level people, taking away from like Google, Amazon, whatever, just because they have a lot more money. Uh, and outside of that, you're able to go and pay for VVverse as well. I mean, you have right now, I don't know where on the priority list VVverse is for um, for the company that's doing it. Cavernous, I brain darked on the company name for whatever reason, I don't know why. Not been a, been a crazy couple weeks. Anyway, um, yeah, let's say if we're number two or number three on Cavernous's list, if we get a little bit money, a little bit more money, and we swing it that way, hey, maybe we get to number two or number one. Now, obviously, Cavernous also has a um, obligation and partnership over to Epic Games, which Disney just bought one point five billion in. So, you know, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to match Disney's money, but that's uh, just letting you know we can move up in the priority scale for certain people. The more money we have. So, not only do we gross thirty two thousand with that this morning, I'm going to say another twenty something thousand ish with the uh, with the comics that we had today. There was a bunch of new different ones, and actually, an interesting story here. So. Ultimate X-Men number two sold out a lot quicker than Ultimate X-Men number one. Why? Well, there is a first appearance that is on the number on the number two. That's fine. And I'll show you Peach Momoko's uh, post in a second. But they did technically both come out on the same day. But if you go and you search, like, so be advised, um, they're the, both the same quantity, like the, both the same amount at 980 or 900. Yeah, 980 of them. But number one really wasn't easy to find because you had to go to the number two and then scroll to find the previous uh, number one issue. So not too many people knew about it. So like even people on Spaces didn't know about it until somebody saw, uh, somebody mentioned it and happened to mention it over in Spaces because no one was actually, number one was actually released over uh, a week ago. So when you go on the app and sort by release, this week it didn't come up just because it was released last week uh, physically. So if you want to number two, and then you clicked add to cart, at the bottom of the screen, number one was there as well. But because the sorting date goes by the release date in real life, it, it released in real life a week ago. So when it released today, it had the release date of a week ago. That's why no one saw it. And here's the post by Peach Momoko. Again, she's doing all of the covers, all of the artwork for uh, the new Ultimate X-Men. Just absolutely bananas. She kind of looks like White Schnee a little bit. Um, over from Ruby. It's not her, but it just looks like her. But going back to uh, the revenue that VV has been making and that they will continue to make. So let's say they did 30 today uh, from just the Vincent Zerzola stuff, 33 give or take, and then they did another 20-ish uh, over from the VV Comics website. Figure that's another 50, 50-ish K. And obviously they don't do that every day. They'll make a couple million per month, but let's say at the end of the year, being super conservative at let's say 40 million with a 30X multiple, that's like $1.2 billion valuation. And, and again, you have people like Todd McFarlane uh, that had posted on X today. I think Alex even retweeted it saying that, hey, you have people in different countries that, yeah, they have no problem paying $25 for a, uh, for, for a physical statue but they would have to pay like a hundred something dollars for shipping. And that's if everyone does it like correctly. And you know, you're just not going to do that for the physical statue. And guess what? He's absolutely a hundred percent right. Like when I was in the Pokemon business and I shipped an item that was, let's say $2,500. 
okay, I ship it to the UK, the shipping might not be that much, maybe an extra, you know, like $150, give or take. But then they had to go and they had to, okay, this is an import from a different country because of Brexit, they had to pay a huge tax of like another five to $700. And just people are just not going to want to do that. So it's digital collecting is much superior in that way. And then he also goes on to mention, hey, guess what else we have? We have people in China. They People in third world countries do not have houses like this. People in third world countries have houses that are, or rooms that are like as big as my room in New York. And my room in New York is... 100 square feet, give or take. Um, people don't have room for physical collectibles. You have a couple of different things, um, and then that's it. Then then you suddenly don't have room for your bed. Then you suddenly don't have room for this. I, Dashy takes up a good amount of my room over in New York. And uh, again, this is where digital collecting, I have 1,500 collectibles and comics over on my phone. That's where it's superior. And Todd McFarlane goes and met, he talks about it for like eight different minutes. So you have Vivi here, which is super disruptive. You have in which that solves that problem of space. It solves that problem of shipping. And and again, what do we get every couple of weeks? We get a new app. We get an app with new updates. You go to the iOS store. You go to the Google Play Store. Update app. A bunch of minor fixes and improvements. Over the course of the last couple of years, there have been thousands of improvements and innovations all brought together by this company. And the result is just a super stellar product with amazing margins. So you, you have this machine here that essentially is the product. Like you have the product of digital collectibles, you have the disruptiveness of that company, you have the margins, which are already insane, what, like 80% margins? And then you just have, again, this, this audience, you have this machine, this perfect machine that's built and nobody else can replicate it. They've tried. Every other digital collectibles company that's tried to replicate it has had varying degrees of success. Some had no success at all where they failed. Um, declared bankruptcy and some are there they're just not making money or at least not right now but again as the bull market takes hold that type of thing will change so again 40 million you know this year I'd say is exceedingly conservative and again what else can they use with those profits I would really love it if they were to go and buy another company and just be able to go and say hey now we have you they can they can take some of the workload off of off of who's over on Vivian Akomi and they could put it on the new company. But David did say that he wanted about half a million by like 2025, which is next year. That'd be half a million if we if we can get those people at monthly active users. And let's say not not doing a ton. You know, why aren't they dropping all five Wolverine collectibles in one month? Well, because that would be a lot. $250 people is a lot. But let's say that they all they they don't do you know, two hundred fifty dollars in a month. But let's say they all do fifty in a month. You know, if you have half a million people, which after you get people from Asia onboarded, that narrative changes and and a bunch of people come back. Yeah, and they all do fifty dollars a month. If they buy it from the store, that's twenty five million dollars per month. And obviously, I know that's going to be pretty insane at three hundred million per year. But let's say they do that. Okay, they do that per year, and that's about nine billion dollar company. And that's not including the crypto. So, yeah, when I say that. Revenue is important for Vivi. If you're a nine billion dollar company, um, you know just from that thirty x multiple, your your crypto is going to go insane. And people wonder why I think, you know, like eight to ten cents is my base case, and why fifteen to twenty percent is is a achievable bull. And Crypto Rain is seventy percent sure that Omi reaches, God, a hundred billion dollar market cap, which would be about thirty cents. Heckin' bananas. Anyway, that is. Uh, just some quick back of the napkin math there. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. That's it for me today. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say, we miss you, Dashy. I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Meow, 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 meow.